Hi guys, Micro here. This is my easy cooking XP guide for Iron Men. You can get 200k cooking experience an hour with no fish, nothing like that, no prep, just raw cooking XP, and it's fantastic. So let's get right into it. There are a few requirements for this. You need level 32 cooking for cream cheese. And because we're doing cream cheese, you do need chef's assistant quest for that cream cheese, which itself requires 32 cooking as well. You also need one other requirement, and that's 71 farming for two large pens. Once you've built the two large pens, you want totems on each one with an elder cow inside for the milky milky perk. The reason why you want two cows that are elder in your large pens is you want the farm totems to be active. So if I check my farm totem, I have tier two milky milky and all cooking and XP gained from churning is four times the normal rate. That's because I have totems on both my large pens and my cows are elder. That allows this perk to work. This is where you get most of your XP from. You wanna make your way to the farm north of Port Sarim. Right where it says you are here on the map, this is the farm you wanna to go to. When you get here, just out of the back of this farm, there is a milk seller. You can trade them and they have buckets of milk. Normally stocks share welds, whereas this one doesn't. You can hop welds and it restocks the milk. This means when you've used 200 here, you can hop welds, use 200 in another weld, hop welds, use 200 and continuously repeat the process. Milk only costs 12 GP as well. Super cheap. Once you've bought your milk, you want to run into this other room of the farm and there's a dairy churn right here. Go to this dairy churn, make cream cheese, make sure you're making the cream cheese, and you can AFK for 134 seconds before getting a full inventory. You get an insane amount of experience an hour here just making cream cheese. You do have to drop or eat the cream cheese though, I wouldn't do it while you're crafting cream cheese though. Because if you drop the cream cheese now, it then gives you empty buckets because your inventory is not full. You don't want to have your inventory filled with buckets because it makes it much harder to deal with dropping. I'll show you a way to get around this. You just need to make sure you drop everything once you have a full inventory. And I'll show you a quick way to do that in just a second. This is how I drop my items. Move your action bar just above the bottom of your screen. As you can see, there's a little space where my action bar doesn't quite hit the bottom of my screen. Then drag the cream cheese on your action bar. When you right click, you can have it so your mouse instantly hovers over drop if it's slightly above the bottom of your screen. Then you can just right click, left click over and over again without moving your mouse to very quickly drop all that cream cheese. It's also very useful to run towards the woman who sells the milk while dropping to be even more efficient. This is the best way I've found to drop stuff and it seems to work pretty effectively with most things so you can put this in action on pretty much anything. As you can see, I'm getting 215,000 cooking experience an hour even after multiple runs. That's wearing nothing but I do have an avatar buff on my main account. So on an Iron Man that would be 200k base XP without the avatar buff. If you had the cooking outfit on your Iron Man you'll be getting this exact XP because the cooking outfit gives 6%. So you're looking at 200 to 220k experience an hour on an Iron Man doing this. Remember that you need nothing to do this. 12 GP per milk is the only requirement. No need to go fishing. No need to go get loads of supplies to cook. You can pick this up anytime and just do it. No need for any prep except for the player own farm prep. Definitely would advise this on an Iron Man if you're looking to train just cooking. It's very viable and very nice. This is how I personally got 80 cooking on my Ultimate Hardcore Iron Man because I can't bank fish. This worked perfectly for my Ultimate Hardcore. Got level 80, did temple trekking, got sharks, perfect. Absolutely amazing. So if your milk seller runs out of milk, literally just go to a different world. Once you're in a new world, just trade the milk seller and you'll have 200 again. It's insane. It's so consistent, so awesome. It's one of the only stores that is world based and not just like account based. Means that you can restock the stock just by hopping worlds. This is what makes this so good. It was just limited to the 200 milk in stock and you couldn't hop to refresh the stock. It would just be bad. But because you can consistently do this, pretty damn awesome. That is it for this video. I know I covered it in my Ultimate Hardcore Iron Man series, but I wanted to make a standalone guide for anyone looking for it or needing help with cooking on Iron Men. Instead of searching through the whole series, there's now a standalone guide to help anyone who needs it. Do give the video a like if you did enjoy, and until next time, see ya.